All righty, everybody. Welcome back to another another match here. We got Yandi Santos versus BJ Busser. Second round. Second round matchup. Beyondy's breaking through. Looks like these guys really wasted no time. And they He's are ready, ready to, to do it. Yeah. For sure. So I'm I'm Lisa Cassette. I'm Justin Clark. And we're uh, here at West End Billiards in Gastonia, North Carolina. We are here. 32 players? 31. 31 players showed 31 up for this players. event. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Pretty good for a, for an Easter weekend. Not bad. Yeah, a lot of people have Easter plans and stuff like that. So, two uh, two really good players here. This is going to be a good match. Yeah. Uh, Beyond he did drop right there. He's BJ with a shot on the one ball. He does make it. Yeah. Um. It looks like. What do you think? The th three nines there, or is the seven in the way? It looks could like maybe, the three nine. Could maybe do the three nine, maybe. Um, got some other options though. Deciding. I think he tries to break shake for the three ball first. Deciding. Yeah. See. Yeah, that went. Uh, that went too far. Yeah, he didn't yeah. as much of the four as he wanted yeah. to. He was wanting to hit more of the four. And to stop the cue ball for sure. Yes. So. Kind of a tough kick shot here. Oh, it it really is. Do you go do you go bottom rail? Do you hit the bottom rail? Do you hit the short rail? Or do you do you kick it off the long rail? Oh. Um, let's see here. Well, he is Justin just stepped away. Uh <laughs> this is going to be a pretty tough kick. Um, let's see. Marianne Merrill is going to join me while Justin steps away. Uh, so this is where BJ's at right now. Um, he's got quite a kick. He's really taking his time looking at this one. I think he's going to have to shoot towards us. That would probably at least clip the three. That's his only chance to really like clip the three, maybe. And if he, if yeah. he does hit it right, he's got a good chance to make it. So absolutely, that that is definitely that's what he's going to be trying. Okay. Oh, he just missed it. He missed it. His stick hit the six. Yes. Yeah. Forget the score. Yes, we got it. Okay. So it's going to be ball in hand for Biondi. And uh, anybody with uh, questions or comments, or uh, we're here. We'll talk about the match. We'll talk about uh, pool, whatever you guys want to talk about. But I guess pool related, anyways. Um, I don't see any problems here. Three, three to the four looks all right. So. Uh, brackets are at digitalpool.com if you guys want to check out the brackets. Uh, the tournament is the pool series um, at Weston Billiards here. All right, he's had a nice little love bump on the five, and um, I think he's going to be drawing this here. Um, but he's going to have to go up, up table on the top rail. Off the top rail? Let's see what maybe. Um, well, it looks like he's drawing, so we'll say six is down at the bottom rail, yeah. but it's kind of covered by the oh, nine ball. Oh, he tried to stun it. Oh, boy, he really he really tried to force that cue ball. That was going to be a little difficult um, to execute. Un unfortunately, against a player like BJ, just you got to mind your piece of cues. If you, if you give BJ a shot, you're probably going to the result. Absolutely. It doesn't take too many chances for this guy, honestly. That was a nice, pretty little stun shot there. I think he just got by that nine. I think the six. He's probably going to get above the nine here. I would say. Yep. yep. At that angle, it's just almost impossible to hold it. So yeah. I had to come back out to the center of the table. And mm -hmm. Same thing with the shot, right back out to the center of the table, and kind of right back where he is now. 
I like the seriousness of uh, BJ and the pace he's playing right now. Like, um, it's it's where it should be. His first match was against Eddie Little, and he he, he locked Eddie up pretty good for the majority of that match. So he's definitely taking it serious. All right, I'm popping the score up here. Um, this is my second ever match commentating. And uh, I'm so you need to use uh, okay. So we'll get this one nothing BJ over Beyond A. All right, good job. Thank you. Wow, I'm a fast learner. So, so that dry break. Um, Thank you. It's actually pretty interesting how many dry breaks there have been on this table. Jesus had, well, he had a couple scratches on the break. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I've been seeing. Most people um, have been struggling with the break. Yep. Either scratching or nothing's going because you have to guard against the scratch. If you go from the corner like BJ is now, you have to hit it pure, otherwise you're going straight down. Absolutely. Controlled the cue all right, went off close to the rail a little bit. Um, there's some work to do on this rack, I think. Well, um, if by watching the first little bit I saw against his Eddie Little match, I'm, I'm almost guess that Bettner's going to be a safe here. Because you got that gaggle of balls down at the bottom holding for the two is Daniel. Do you think he's got an edge of the one? I think he does. Little edge of the one, maybe to feather it into the two. He might be looking. I don't know how much he can see of this ball, actually. He's taking quite a long look at it. Ooh. Looks like somewhat of a mass A, so he must be hindered. Yeah, he definitely, he must not be able to see too much of that one ball. Apparently not a whole lot of it because he's going for his short key. Well, Unfortunate it hit that pocket there. I'm sure he wanted that one ball towards uh, that cluster of 579 right there. Just caught that side pocket. I'm not sure if he can see this full ball to cut it. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got the full ball. He can definitely cut that. The corner it's just going to be can he get through that gaggle ball yep, back to the T2. Hit that, that was very well hit. Table number three, a little bit more when it gets in a better angle. So, simply does because this is not easy. It's almost the same thing again. Uh, yeah, safe. he's definitely ducking. Yeah. That is the one thing about Vianda. He, he won't hesitate to play a safe. Mm -hmm. And he's got a pretty good cue ball for draws. The four ball might be a little far for the jump. I don't know if he's looking for a kick here or. Think you could jump that ball? That four's a little far, but at BJ's level, I think he could. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. What he's gonna try. I mean, but if you consider, if you put that same setup on the nine foot table, you could easily be able to jump that. So why not? Yep. Just because it's a short table, don't absolutely jump. I was. It was hit well, but uh, 
Así. I think we can cut this two wall in past the eight. If he can't, then he would definitely be going on the second one. He's taking a look at this one, yep. He's definitely going for it, I think. Oh no, right through. Oh, that was a nice tuck behind the eight there. I'm pretty sure BJ can see the edge because he's getting down really quick. It was shorts. It was short for sure. <laughs> All right. I don't see any problems on this rack. Just needs to execute every shot. He's really been practicing focusing on giving every shot I do and not it, just. He's really looking good. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's being patient with the table and. When he needs to be sure he is, and he just gets up there and does it. Okay, so beyond he's conceding that nine, and I'm updating the score, it'll be two zero BJ. I'm getting that down. <laughs> yeah, um, so please hit the like and subscribe button if you guys would. Uh, really share the stream out there because uh, it is a new new pool series. You wanna get it out and um, uh, just get this thing up and running. So, be on a scratch on the break here. Uh, that's been the tendency so far. Yes, that's happened quite a few times. Wow. Hmm. I guess he wanted to clear that out. Confident with his combos. Well, I think it's easier to take it now with ball in hand that we feel later. Absolutely. Maybe after we use the six seven combo, I mean, this kind of opens up the table a little bit. Yeah. Now it's just kind of a tic tac toe, two ball, three ball. I think six is about the hardest part as it's going to get right here. I think he ended up a little short. De he definitely pointed to the rail where he actually wanted to be. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, a little short again, but um, hmm. I think. That's a tough one because that five Going is really that. close to the yep. game. Sorry, you can't say it's great to have for a game, but it's tight to the room. So. He's tucking the cue ball behind the nine. I had to kind of look around him, and he executed it perfectly. Um, I would say so. Yeah, we had a <laughs> heck of a time trying to see what he was going to do there on that shot, but. Um, execute it perfectly. So. I mean, as you can tell at, at, at BJ's level, there's times to go for shots, and then there's other times you yeah. have to do that. That will secure the be the win rather than going for the shot. Mm -hmm. well, that was a good attempt. That's pretty much all you could hope for on a, a shot like that. Um, Defense yeah. definitely wins championships. I uh, every time I played in pool league, I would tell all my my team teammates, uh, defense wins championships. So it looks like uh, that's going to help him win this game.
The eight goes by the nine. I'm pretty sure. And if it doesn't, he wouldn't have taken the key ball in. Yep. <laughs> All right. And uh, he's conceded another. another nine. All right. It is a call nine tournament. Um, but uh, just giving you guys heads up on the rule. Three zero BJ. Does that look right? That's right. Okay. okay. All right, any questions or comments from um, our viewers, just um, type in the live chat and we'd love to answer anything you guys may have about pool or uh, North Carolina or the people playing. We know a little bit about quite a few people in here. So as far as we sparred with them a lot in tournaments and so. Um, yeah, most of the players here are very active in the local tournaments. Yeah. A lot of really good players. But as you're seeing, even the good players, it's just it's just one mistake and mm -hmm. that's the beauty of bar box, but that's also the danger of bar box. So forgive me, but um, the graphics on this, uh, I'm still learning on this computer, but uh, there definitely are some sponsors I'd like to, to thank while BJ is racking. Um, thank you, Paul Harrison Custom Cues, for the sponsorship of this stream. Um, Carolina's BCA Pool League, Aris Productions, Laser Engraving, Buoys Plumbing, and Red Debris Removal and Hauling. Thank you guys so much. It's a lot of fun. Let's see if BJ can control the key ball. He had a pretty good break. control last break. So no. Uh it's heading to a rail again, but he's got That's the other thing. That's dry break. Dry break. Control the cue ball well, but so um let's see if Beyond Beyondi Beyondi? Beyondi? Beyondi. Okay. I'm sorry, Beyondi. I'll have to ask you after this match. Um, thanks. Do you think he's going to try and run into the two ball here? Yeah, I think it's after. Yeah. There it is. As you're kind of um, trying to control that speed when you're doing that. Um, Still don't think he has a back. I don't, no, I don't back see it. Maybe looking at the corner. Just quickly did defense, so. Oh, yeah, he's talking, he's trying to get it up to the four ball. I think he ended up a little short. I think BJ has a shot here. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't want to take it on, he's definitely got a safety. That was great to avoid all that traffic. That's quite a bit of traffic to avoid there. Absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. For sure, it looks like BJ has speed of the table down better than beyond the right now. That's exactly, if if I had to take any observations away, that would be one of them for sure. beyond has been a little short on some of his uh, safeties and stuff. So, yeah, good observation. With the couple of times last rack that BJ was sure that make him up for it with a perfect safety. Absolutely. So sometimes you know those safeties are what can get you into the speed of the table because you know you have to be so precise with them. Mm -hmm. well, if you can get that, it's going to help you. Absolutely. Great try. Pretty routine here, and another concession. Okay, so we've got the score 4 0. Mine it. This is Lisa Cassette, and uh, Marianne Merrill is with me commentating. We're at West End Billiards in Gastonia. And um, 
This is a race to seven. Call your nine ball. And uh, alternate break. 31 players ended up in this tournament today. 3,000 back here, allowed to use jump field. All right. I, I feel like uh, Beyonde really needs to uh, try and find a way to get, get a game going here, or it could easily get away from them. So. If, if you can't get it this game, I, uh, there's no amount of money that would bet on them. Even as it is, it's going to be tough. All right. That, I really liked his timing on that break. Let's, oh, that six might have uh, hooked him a little bit on the one here. Yeah, I'm looking at it close, though. You can't see it. He's got to be able to see it. Oh, doing That's a what I expected, yeah. He, he did not get there, no. He's, it's been the theme for him, you know, for his defense, but... Yeah, but what do you do here? I don't know that the one, one cuts to the side because of the eight ball. Ooh. Plus the two balls over here on the rail, so it was definitely not yeah. worth going for that shot. Yeah. Again, that's a first minute. Yep. No ball. Absolutely. And you put it in that limited little spot right there. Trust me. It's not bad. So Beyonde's going for a jump cue, looks like. Real. That's, I mean, he must have only been jumping a fraction of that seven ball. It's really tight to that side. Do you think it's worth calling the nine ball here? I mean, I don't know, why would you? I mean, yeah, I think this that would be worth it. Get off a hair on it, but still get the one. You never know what can happen. So, I'd be calling the nine ball here. Taking him a while to get this jump key off, but sure well, what he's doing. Um, changing his glove or something. Still messing with his glove on his free throw. There we go. Here he comes. <clears throat> If he can pull this jump off, I'd be impressed. Like I said, that's really tight to that second ball. Could be wrong. Could be just eight and he's got some over. Ooh. I, but I don't that, think it was wrong. It was definitely an eight ball that had him. That was well struck. I really very liked it. It was very close. Um, but I don't think there's a reward. No, no, you're right about that. BJ can he can either go for this stun draw off the rail behind the nine ball or play another set. We'll just he rolled out really with well. that nice back yeah, That was a very nice roll. Um, now, see, we can't tell if that two ball is frozen to the rail, but it's really close. He's going to have to make sure and get get by the sound ball, which should be no problem. Yeah. That's perfect angle. Come Absolutely. Four. Yep, there he's pointing at the rail he wants to hit. The only thing you really gotta worry about here is you do not want to bump that six ball. If you bump that six, you're in for one. So he avoided, he avoided it all together yes. by just going, going high. extra long, yeah, a little extra long. Knowing that he can back like this, and now he'll be shooting the six ball up in the pocket that he's gonna be standing on.
I don't see any more problems here for the rest of the rack. Well, like I said, the only problem he had was making sure he didn't bump that six. So it, instead of he navigated that he really well. Around it and went around. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I really like how he navigated that. Um, has got to be so happy with the drag and bust and take yeah. the right. I, I love his pace. I love his focus. It's looking really, really good. For what is beyond the he's making a shooting on bumps. Hmm. Okay, we've got BJ at five. Um Deonde needs to get on the board here. Thank you so much to our sponsors. I'm going to give a shout out to our sponsors. You can find the stream live on Facebook right now. Uh, please like and share and get this thing out and about in the universe. And um, thank you, sponsors Paul Harrison Custom Cues, um, Carolina's BCA Pool League, Eris Productions Laser Engraving. Buoys Plumbing and Red Debris Removal and Hauling. Really appreciate and thank this you setup. viewers for tuning in. This this picture looks really good from our end. Um, it's really nice to watch a stream with a good quality camera, a nice little setup, and you know, it's uh, it makes it so much more enjoyable. Ooh, he got a little close to the side pocket, but wow, that's uh, that's going to end up being pretty oh, It's the best break I've seen so far. Oh, wow, still, that was I thin. still think he's hooked on the one ball. That was one of the better breaks we've seen today so far. Yep. Pat, Pat Dixon, you're asking who's commentating. Um, it's Lisa Cassette and myself, Mary Ann Merrill. Thank you, Pat. Um, for contributing to the stream. Oh, thanks, Pat. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will research that. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, that's it. There it is. I found it, Pat. Thank you. Um, let's see. We've got. He's pushing out there. He's gonna. Nice. Definitely hooked, and with only six balls on the table, that's definitely not a person you want to jilt because the five balls got got as close to a jail too. So Absolutely. Take the push out. See if your opponent can do Ooh. something. I don't think he wanted to get that close to the pocket, honestly. I'm pretty sure he did. Cause yeah. He really wanted to avoid that. Um. You see him slowing up on the five here? I'd say you almost have to at this point, don't you? Yep. Ooh. Or pull a magic out. Oh, wow. I think he's, uh, I don't think he got rewarded for that. No, I actually think he can see it. It's tight. So mm. I think he can at least see part of it all. So. Well, that's for sure. Okay. Actually, that that was a pretty good execution there. Nice little crossover. Yep. I see uh, a jump cue in the future. It's a tough kick. So. Yeah, definitely have to go for the jump cue on this one. Straightforward. Not a bad effort, but um, Biondi is going to get a chance to get on the board here. I, that's a, this is exactly what he needed to uh, get a little momentum going. So um, I'm looking forward to this working out for him. So realistically, it's his first chance. So yeah, he, he, has, is, to take he has to take advantage of. 
Because if you don't get out here, it's it's nothing. We might as well just start that bus because that fat lady will start singing real quick. Surprised that held up actually. So he still has a shot. I mean, and see, that's the difference. If you look at Pooh's feet, he's being very precise about angles of the cue ball. That level you have to, you have to be very cautious and precise with that cue ball. Conscientious, yeah. Con yeah, conscientious. Yeah. yeah. That, that one. Yep. <laughs> Well, that was not the outcome he was looking for there. Huge game. Definitely did not get that down what he wanted. No. One of the biggest things is make sure you make them all and you at least give yourself a chance. Okay, so um, BJ's on the hill. We're gonna race to seven here. Let's I, see if we can't click over here. Let's do sponsor. this sponsor thing here. I'll go. And we'll go. There we go. Wow, Pat. I don't know if he's still there, but thank you. We got him. We got it figured out. Now. There we go. Oh. Yep. There we go. We're turning into computer whizzes over here. So I'm Lisa Cassette. This is Mary and Merrill. We're at Western Billiards in Gastonia. Pool series action going on right now. That was a very good break. He's. At, this is the first time like there's been a, a shot on the one this whole set, I think. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with that. I wouldn't mind seeing um, a little bit more uh, breaking runs and stuff like that. Be a change for sure. there with the table number six: Junior Gabriel and Josh Seals. Table six: Junior and Seals. So he got on table number six: here. Joshua Seals um, and Junior Gabriel. So you can see him um, feathering the three ball. Uh, I mean, it really is being that close to the ball. So, maybe Bennett, if he possibly can do the seven in the corner. Yeah, he's going to try and get it. Oh. I didn't see the two down there. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I actually didn't either. <laughs> no. So, well, he kicked a great two ball in. I did not see. I'm so focused on the screen. Did not even see that two ball in the corner there. So, but that happens, doesn't it? <laughs> wow, that was a fantastic, fantastic kick. Yeah, he showed a little frustration there for sure. Actually, that was a fantastic recovery shot. Um, yeah. So this should, be, uh, this should get him finally on the board. Took a break around the door. Yes, it was. That is a fan. That's 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 it. 
like a recovering from jail being locked up in the three bar that to uh pull out of that and also security space. Look at that. Wow. That was very good advice from Pat. I really appreciate the, the little help being complete newbies on um, any kind of streaming platform. This is, uh, it's nice to get a little help from the audience. That turned out great, didn't it? Don't know how you do that, Pat. Thank you. Right, here we go. BJ breaking, he's had a good break this set, so. So let's see if he can duplicate what Beyondi just did. Break a room with BJ. First smart down is made of all. Will we be able to see the one? Actually, he actually can. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's kind of a tough spot right there. Yeah, BJ's looking at it. Um, it's a little window. It's it's just kind of a small little window, but it's 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 there. It's almost like uh, what needs to go two, three rails, well, end up short. Like Seth ball might be in the way. It might be in the way of the three railer. One, two, three. Rails. And if it's not, then that side pocket gets really big. So. Yeah. He is, he's looking to get past the side pocket there. He's trying to draw the past the side pocket and then back to the here. Yeah, he is putting a good amount of draw on this. Oh, he did a defense. Ooh, it almost went off the five there. Got a little fortunate it didn't go off the five there, but. I would tell you, but that's a heck of a mistake. That was a fantastic defense. A lot easier to get that two ball from there. <laughs> that was. It takes just the right speed to hold that cue ball like that. You know, some people think it's such an easy shot, but boy, it's so easy for that cue ball to get loose and hit, bounce off the rail a little bit, and all of a sudden you're giving them an open shot. So, so beyond these looking at a pass, to make up for this one ball, I'm telling you right now. If he's got anything, the color is going to spin. Yeah, that eight ball is really big. And the seven ball is two. Yeah, two of them have that really buttoned up. He's using, he's using left English on this. Ooh. Very. Just very went by. Yeah. Just missed that one. Maybe next match. If y'all want to say. Yeah. Apparently, here in just a few minutes, the next match comes up is going to be Billy Fowler. So actually, um, Josh Newman or Billy Fowler. Wow, that's fantastic. That's going to be a fantastic match. Go <laughs> me. Yeah. Well, that'll be a treat for you guys. That'll be a big treat. Yeah, and I think they're getting that football game, BJ. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, I don't see. He's that. This is the ball. the speed here. Right here. Center of the table. That's definitely one that you can down the floor. Yes, absolutely. Might have to do a little extra on this cue ball. I was just going to draw it back to my three guys. Yeah, he had to put a good, yeah, he had to put a good on that baby. Um, he's still okay. Probably a little higher than he wanted, but. And that's why I was thinking he maybe draw it back to three guys. He did put a little juice on that baby. So. That wasn't too bad right there. This is for the match. Oh, is he going to get a lucky tap? No. No. Wow. So he, he did overcut that a little bit. So is BJ come away from the table and he's like, how do you go with that? Beyond it, Beyond it gets, uh, 
gets that one. I'm not sure how you would have said that, BJ, but you know. Yeah, he's hanging in there. Wow. You know, it's an amazing thing, momentum, what happens and, and how matches can turn around in, in a blink. So, Yande could really build on this. Yep. Yeah. He had a really good break, so I think he's finally finding his timing and tempo for it. He took some off of this one uh, compared to the last one. He looked like. Yep. a puddle of balls. A puddle. That's that's a very good word for that. There's other terms that are less PG, but I like puddle on, on this one. <laughs> For sure. He's got, he's got a starting shot with the one. But it's a free ball. But both corner pockets are blocked by ball, so you look at the combo either way. And which combo would you prefer? The 3 4 or the 3 5, right? Um, based on where they are, the easier access is to play five. But then you got blockers in the seven nine, so you yep. don't hit it right. Yep. You're not going to like that. So, <clears throat> does it look like the five's closer into the pocket than the four? So, it might be easier to get that combo, maybe, and hold the three ball good? Yeah. Yep. It's going to go for that one. Might be easier to hold that three ball, you know, towards that pocket. A little bit high, so if it's going for a carry speed, he's going to hit it off the top of the five and try to hold the three right there. There we go. Just like that. That was fantastic. Yeah. That was very well done. Got to draw it back out. You know, he's going to go for the top. Yeah. That's pretty nice. So now this, that is speed control. So the seven must have a pocket because he didn't bother, you know, no, trying to break right anything. There. Right where the key ball yep. is, it goes in there. Wouldn't it be nice to have another camera angle? <laughs> I've, I've but, done a couple of commentaries, and to me, the best camera angle is the one that is directly in the center of the table looking well, down. Looking down. Because yeah. you can see everything. You can see everything. Then there's no guesswork. BJ is in good stroke and form right here. Got yep. himself a great angle on that seven. I don't think he's going to let this one go. Okay. Um, uh, beyond he just conceded that, so. That was it. Seven to three, BJ. Seven to two? Seven to two. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, this is Lisa Cassette. And thank you so much for joining us. We're going to get uh, right back with a really good match coming up Josh Newman and Billy Fowler. So we'll see you guys here in about. Four or five minutes.